health and wellness. Mr. Speaker, one of the top priorities of the reset agenda is to protect our people from COVID-19, which was set by July 2022. 1,534,801 people are fully vaccinated in Botswana. This translates into a target, sorry, this translates into 64% against a target of 70% set by the World Health Organization by mid-2022. This is one of the highest vaccination rates in the world. Despite this achievement, I still urge Botswana not to be complacent. We have prioritized the construction of rehabilitation centers in Siroe and Francistown to combat the alarming rates of substance abuse in the country. We are therefore exploring ways to expedite the implementation of these projects. The Francistown Center is earmarked to offer additional services of restorative care. Mr. Speaker, the Circuit Tumile Masire Teaching Hospital was officially commissioned in September 2022 with its full suite of radiology services. When fully operational, it will offer high level quaternary specialized services to be able to offer medical tourism. Government has signed a memorandum of agreement with Botswana Baylor Children's Technical Center of Excellence Trust which also covers the Texas Children's Hospital for a further period of 15 years. New areas of partnership include pediatric and adult oncology, hematology, obstetrics, gynecology, and vaccine development. Mr. Speaker, the many years of the fight against HIV AIDS, which is anchored on behavioral change, testing, enrollment of antiretroviral therapy, as well as psychosocial support is starting to bear fruit. Incidence rate for 2013 was 1.33% and has since decreased to 0.2% in 2021. Showing that the rate of new infections is decreasing. The HIV prevalence in 2013 was 18.5% and in 2021, it has increased to 20.8%, showing the efficacy of our treatment program. We should jealously guard this positive progress and encourage sustained adherence to treatment in order to contain and reduce the spread of the virus. I am happy to announce that Botswana has exceeded the World Health Organization 95-95-95 target. This shows that 95.1% of the adult population living with HIV know their status, and that 98% are on treatment, while 97.9% of those who are on treatment are virally suppressed. We have also been effective in reducing mother-to-child transmission of HIV, and have reduced direct transmission from mother-to-child to 2.21% surpassing the 5% global target. In recognition of our achievement, the World Health Organization awarded Botswana the Silver Tier Certificate. <laughs> Furthermore, Botswana was on 20th September 2022, recognized and bestowed with a National Achievement Award by the Africa American Institute for effectively containing and managing the spread of HIV tuberculosis, and malaria, among other accomplishments. Despite these commendable achievements, our concern is that fewer men compared to women are testing for HIV AIDS. I therefore want to encourage all to proactively test for HIV AIDS and adhere to treatment. Mr. Speaker, non-communicable diseases are increasingly becoming a steady, silent pandemic. The World Health Organization statistics of 2020 show that non-communicable diseases account for 
of all premature deaths in the country. Critical risk factors predisposing Botswana to non-communicable diseases include physical and emotional stress, tobacco use, physical inactivity, unhealthy eating habits, and substance abuse. Botswana Beach, deaths associated with non-communicable diseases are preventable. I want to encourage you to adopt healthy lifestyles to avert the challenge of non-communicable diseases. The shortage of drugs and other medical supplies in Botswana is of great concern. We are giving this matter our highest attention. As one of the immediate interventions to address the situation, government has engaged local private entities and pharmacies to help in distributing essential medicines across the country.